What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, the teddy bear who teaches you how to mod different games. Today we're taking a look at another Game Pass game, Grounded. It's a game by Obsidian. Good all around. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's go ahead and do a fresh install of this game and get going. Sadly, as far as Grounded goes, there's not a ton of mods available out there. There's only, I think, around 70, give or take, over on Nexus mod. Might be off a little bit, but not by a ton. Let's go ahead and find out real quick. 67. There's a total of 67 mods out there, so there's not a huge amount of mods available for this game. But there are some that can make your experience a little better. You saw two of them in my shorts. You had the remote storage as well as QOL. I'll be showing you how to install both of them. They both use a third party mod to help them run. But we'll go more into that once the install is done. So go ahead and enjoy the music and we'll jump into it as soon as the game is finished downloading. All right, let's go ahead and jump into modding this thing. Here's the two mods we'll be using. We've got remote storage and configurable QOL, both by the Lich. He seems to enjoy modding this one. Remote storage will give us access to our storage anywhere using a quick command. And configurable QOL, which is quality of life, gives us just a variety of stuff. That's how you saw fast speeds, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and download these real quick. And we also will have to download, these one start, this UESS. Because this UESS makes the other ones usable. And we'll go into that here in a second. Now let's go ahead and install them. So like most games, we're going to just come out to here, go to Manage Games, Files, and Browse. We're going to get this handy-dandy folder here. We're going to go into Grounded, Content, Main. You're either, for most mods, going to end up going into Content and Packs. So you can actually add packs for pack modding into this location. Or into the Win VDK. That's actually where all these mods install. So you're gonna go ahead and just click and drag from you're just gonna click and drag from QMod, the mods folder into this one here. Same for remote storage. Bill has the mods folder, you just click and drag it in, it'll combine the two. There should actually be separate folders inside of here that they'll be stored in. And to actually be able to have these mods function, we've got this UESS, which you just click and drag that one right into here. With one small caveat, we're gonna have to right click on this one. I click on this one here for the win input 1.3 DLL. We're just gonna delete that and change that to 1.4. That is the only caveat there get lost or need more instructions they have installation notes out on all these also they answer the question of mods will only work for the host not the host clients cannot use remote storage or, or no matter if the client has the mod installed or not so they actually cover the whole will these work for multiplayers normally the answer is no but they're also very breaking so you don't really probably want to play multiplayer with them well you might anyways so if we come in here, we can actually go into the options of these. They have different configurations in here that we can use. This one tells you the remote storage size defaults to 100. Player backpack size, your key for accessing it. This is so you can name your remote storage. If you name a storage with remote storage as the prefix to the storage, you'll be able to access it. And if we come into QOL, quality of life mods and go into options. This is the one where we can get a little crazy. For instance, player damage multiplier. This is how you saw me slaying spiders like crazy. I changed that to a 25 times damage multiplier for me. They have one down here that is your speed when sprinting. And you can go ahead and up that. I shifted it to, I wanna say five, I believe. 
but it might have gotten a little crazy at that point. Go ahead and save those alterations and let's see if this works. We can close out of these, close out of that, and launch the game. And if these mods worked, I should now do insane damage, move really fast when sprinting, have access to remote storage. And I don't know if this let me keep my previous save or not. There's a good chance it deleted it, so I will be starting over fresh from nothing. Always a risk whenever you're doing an uninstall, reinstall. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Go single player. Oh, I get a continue option, and there is my save, so... At least we got that going. Thank goodness for that, because that gives me access to my remote storage right off the start. It's pretty easy to check that one. You just got to hit Alt and 9 over on the number key, and I can see whether or not I have access to my remote storage. Fair enough, remote storage 1. And then, whoop! You got to be careful with that sprint multiplier. It really, really wants to go fast. Like, you can hurt yourself by just using it and running into stuff like that. Because you are moving so fast, this thing actually will take damage. <laughs> if you sprint into a random branch or anything. So, probably don't do a 5. You probably want to go a little lower. Just due to the whole... Taking out 25% of your health anytime you touch anything. I thought I lost you. It can also cause like you to get launched and a bunch of other weird stuff. Obviously, my bow should not be doing that dance. I don't have a good way to see down there with the bow, though. Let's go see if we can't fight a spider real quick. Five times damage is not enough, apparently, for this bow to be as lethal as it could be. I'm not one hitting everything, but. I'm one hitting enough to make life easy. Oh, you also can do, like, loot multipliers and other things with that one. But yeah, we have now successfully modded Grounded from Game Pass. This was Couch Command. I hope you all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.